Hi everyone, I'm back with another process video for you and this is layout 30 of my 30 layout challenge so it's really exciting. Here I am just going through um, my scraps so again I've got that Finley collection um, out and I, so I've got the rest of the scraps on my desk um, so I'd use these two papers um, as my um, sort of main element so I'm just cutting four photos down um, here I'm leaving two at um, 4 by 6 and then cutting down the other two to a 4 by 4 and then I'm going to layer those on that um, striped it's a sort of dark beige and black stripe so I'm just using my ATG to um, fix those down I, I'm really into sort of clustering these photos and um, I say it's getting them done it's getting them on the getting them on the pages as well and again um, like I've said um, before this is more of an in introductory um, sort of page to a couple of other photos um, this is again going in my America album and this is the Japanese tea garden um, in um, San Francisco I really love this um, piece of paper from the Finley Collection. It is very bright, um, however, but um, I'm going to add a bit of stamping and that to the background. Just having problems here with my my glue. Uh, it's blocked up, and as I said, my poker tool is still missing in action. So, just deciding what um, inks I'm going to use here, and I pull out my um, stamp set which I have used before again it's um, it's a ranger one I believe I got it um, cheap um, in the TK in TK Max a couple of times and this is the sort of foam stamp and again it's just a sort of confetti sort of look of dots and then I'm going over with the smaller polka dots and it's just bringing up the, you know the polka dots that's at the bottom just bringing that up to the top and sort of embellishing that to where my photo is going to go. I've done a very similar technique last time I used this paper as well. And here I am just adding um, some of the Route 66 mist over the top. And then this is the um, Crafty Notions um, Rain Beetle. Which again it is lovely, it goes on dark but um, dries with a nice kind of bronze um, shimmer and the day that we went to the Japanese tea gardens um, it absolutely chucked it down I mean as you'll know from other layouts where I've used San Francisco photos it literally rained from the minute we got there um, to when we left um, so I mean it was an absolutely beautiful place but um, it absolutely chucked it down um, this day as well I had a really bad headache um, so yeah San Francisco wasn't the best place to go I mean definitely want to go back there but when you know the weather's nice so these are just a mixture of the shots um, that we took of the tea garden and we did actually have some tea in the tea garden um, I had a very nice green tea and we sat in like the pagoda um, looking out it was really it was really lovely so anyway back to the layout here I am just going through um, my scrap bin that sits in front of me and this is where I'll, I put um, not only bigger scraps of paper but I also put embellishments, um, stamps and other things that I've used. Um, I actually was looking through to find that other half a gold doily that I knew I had but also found some project life cards that were in there from a previous layout. It's a couple of die cuts some really old studs there as well that's a stamp set so lots of bits that have been hanging around and I've had this piece of Studio Calico um, I think it's from the yearbook collection paper it's a green um, wood grain and I've had it I used it in a layout well over probably a year ago um, but it's still been kicking around so I decided to use that up so I've cut a strip of that and I've also got a piece of vellum there as well and then here I've got that half a gold doily which I'm just trying to find a place for on the layout 
And as you see, there's the stamping in the background just kind of you know echoes up at the bottom and actually all works in really well together. So I decided to just cut um, this strip into a banner. And I decided I want to add some vellum to that bottom cluster as well. So just trying to work out my placement. And I do have a, another bit of vellum in my stash there. So, and again, I'm just going to cut that side piece into a banner as well. This was a pretty quick layout. Um, this layout took, again, under an hour to do. And again, when you've got such you know large photos, it takes up a lot of that room. So here I'm going through the sticker sheet, which, to be honest, I find really hard to use. I think I've used a couple of stickers off there. I've then got the little canvas tag that's been hanging around in my collection for a long time as well. Again, that's another half used sticker sheet. I look at where I'm going to use it actually. While doing that, I decided to just cut that down and to put it in my stash. These um, I spoke about on a previous layout as well. They are from a stationery shop here in the UK called Paper Chase, and they are vellum. Um, sort of post-it note tabs. So I decided I'm just going to add um, one of those to each of the sort of three clusters, and then I start sticking my layout down. So I'm just going to start building this up. I did have trouble again with this doily with little bits where I'd stuck things on; it was peeling off and little bits of white were showing so that's a little bit annoying I think they're actually um, just sprayed gold I don't think you know they're not made printed from gold paper or anything because I did find the color lifted off quite easily so I'm just trying to work out where to put this brown vellum tag there still having problems with my glue we do actually need to buy another one of these glue because um, that's running out, but I have used it on all of my um, 30 layouts that I've done. So, here I am, just cutting up um, some of those Lily Bee um, stickers um, to put down. And they're nice because they're a cream based sticker. I do think about adding a cluster to the side of there um, to go with the three clusters and I do stick that um, label up there but I do actually end up moving that off and decide to just focus on the two because it is quite a busy layout. Here I am just going through my embellishment bag seeing what bits I can get to put on. I do pull out this bit of um, sort of um, rip wrap ribbon um, and I was going to look at cutting that off and putting that in the different places. But I actually decided the black is just a little bit too harsh because even the sort of black dots and the ink over the green is not it's not really a black, it's kind of more a sort of dark sort of grey so that just stands out too much. I end up not using that so I just put that back in my stash. Here I am going through my Ormolu cut parts which come from Scraptastic kits and a selection of other bits from Scraptastic kits so I've got this chalkboard tag so I'm just going to cut that down and add that to each of the clusters and I really like how that that works I mean as I said I know it's black but it's because it's the chalkboard it's that sort of more greyish black so it's not too harsh so that just goes into each of the clusters then take, take out these little tickets which were sort of Ephemera um, from, I believe they were Scraptastic? Um, no, I think they might have been Studio Calico. They've been in my stash for a while anyway, so. I then pull out those cameras that I printed out, but again, it's the wrong colour. Little envelope. So I'm going through all my little cut parts here, just trying to work out if any of them are going to work. And then, surprise, surprise, I cut down one of these pendants, and again, can't get it to work. They just don't look right. I just I just can't work with them. So that ends up going back in my stash and then I pull out these transparencies. I was saying in a previous um, video that I was having real issues using those 
and a couple of people commented and said um, why don't I try using them um, as sort of background layers so I do take this one here and I have to pull up that that doily um, and it does just add a a very kind of subtle effect but I do sort of just add that there to that cluster and then add the tag over it it's only very very small but again it, it's, it's using them up it's getting them on a the layout um, that one I just find is so pale you can't really see anything I did I did think about using one over that photo because I really like that bronze statue but I don't end up using it in that way and then there's another um, one there which I end up cutting down and adding to that bomb. Again it's so pale it really doesn't show against this paper on the video but now I have just lost that other piece so I was just shaking my layout to see where it had gone. I'm just trying to work out where to put that other piece and I end up layering it over that side. Again you really can't even see it um, here. So then I'm taking out some wood veneer. Um, I did think about using these sort of leaves, but I just think no, that's it's a little bit too themey. Don't really like that. Um, so now I decide that I'm going to start working on my title. I pull out these Amy Tangerine um, rubberized thickers, and also these Tim Holtz um, sort of tiny type sort of stickers. Um, and they, I first saw um, them on a couple of YouTube videos of people using untitles, so I brought them just before Christmas. So here I am, just fit my title down, sorry you can see my crazy hair there in the way. It's been really bad um, weather here in the UK and I just haven't even bothered trying to compete with the weather it's been raining and windy and I have naturally curly hair so I've just let it go wild but yeah hence why you're seeing a bit of crazy hair there in a the photo and this is where I'm peeling those letters off that doily and it's actually pulling off the gold as well um, it's not too noticeable but it so it's quite annoying um, so I'm just adding um, part of the title with those Amy Tan stickers and the other part with these Tim Holtz and as I said the title is just the Japanese Tea Garden because this is an introductory page to a couple of other layouts um, and also a divider page with more photos I think I probably I think I've got a photo of actually the the tea um, that we that we had there so I might do that on a on a sort of you know page that matches this one so I have got a couple more bits of those paper left so I'm just adding those into the bottom there I see a few problems moving them around and so using my knife is not great especially as that knife is blunt anyway I'm just sticking those layers down over transparency and things with a little bit of glue so these actually fell <laughs> fell while I was trying to do my layout and they landed on this I thought oh yes I can add some hearts to this so I do add um, just three wood veneers I'm just sticking that pack back together with some um, washi tape. So I'm just adding three hearts and then I'm also going to pull out um, some sort of brown toned gems and they're, they're a bit different because they're square. Again I've had them in my stash for a long time so I'll just add three of those to each cluster. So that's my layout done. Thank you very much for watching um, and as I said this is 30 layouts now completed. Uh, my next video up will be my first haul video and then it will be back to just some process videos. Not quite sure if I'm going to do any themes or challenges, but thank you very much and see you again soon. Bye!